today we'll create this never give up lamppost design and animation. Alright, so let's get started. First, go to insert, then go to word art, and then pick this thing. And I'll have a word text. So I'm gonna type never give up. So never, and then I'm gonna duplicate it by pressing Ctrl D. Give slash up. Never give up. Then I'm gonna drag over these two. Then I'll go to home and change the font to dagger square. Then I'll increase the font a bit like this. Done. And I'll click over this and increase the font a bit much more so that it matches up the bottom part like that. And we are done. So I'm gonna put it right over here. I'm gonna increase the font a bit more like this. Or maybe make it Sandisys. You can customize the font size right over here if you type that. Alright, so I have a massive ready over here. Then I'll click on the S yes button to get rid of the shadows and I'll go to over here and make it 25% lighter or maybe 10% lighter black. Done. Then I'll go to insert, go to shapes and I'll make a frame out of it. So I'll just click on this and drag it on top of it. Just like that. And put it right in the middle. Then uh, with this yellow dot over here, I'll just smooth it out a bit and make a frame out of it. Then I'll go to shape fill and make it black and go to shape fill again and make it black again. So we have our wallpaper ready almost and I'll go to insert again and pick this circle over here and holding down shift I'll put it right over here and I'll press on these two icons to make it the same format as before. And we have our circle ready. I'm going to press Ctrl D to duplicate it and then put it right over here so that it serves as a pin because the wallpaper is pinned to the wall as it might seem. Then I'll drag over these two and hold in on Ctrl Shift. I'll just duplicate them right over at the bottom. So we have our wallpaper ready. Then I want to create a lamp. So I'm going to go to insert, go to shapes. Then I'm going to pick this pie over here and then I'm going to drag over like this. Then I'll pick the yellow spot and put it right over the halfway there. So it creates a 180 degree degree. Then I'll rotate it like this and our lamp is almost ready. Then I'll go to insert again and pick this rectangle over here and just drag it like that. Boom. There you go. Then I'll drag over this two and go to format. Drag over this two and go to format and union them together. Done. Then I'll go to these two options and pick them so that we have the same format. Then the next part it be a bit tricky. I'll go to insert, I'll go to shapes and pick this trapezoid over here and drag it like that. <coughs> and I'm going to squeeze it a bit like this. And it should serve as a light source. Alright, we're basically done. And what I'm going to do is right click on it and send it to back. Like that. And next, I'll just zoom on a bit like this. Zoom out a bit. Then I'll stretch it like that. So we are basically almost done with it. So it would serve as a light. Now I'm gonna drag over this and hold it on shift. I'll click on this. Then I'll right click and bring them to front. <clears throat> and it should cover the wallpaper, which serves our purpose. Then I'll click on this. Then I'll go to this form a shape option and a window will pop up. I'll go to fill, I'll go to gradient, and I'll have something like this. So what I'm going to do is get rid of this by holding down and drag it outside. I'm going to hold it down and drag it outside. So I'll be left with two colors. So in this color, I'll get yellow and this color, I'll get orange, a bit orangish. <coughs> then I'll click on the yellow part and I'll increase the transparency like this so that you can see what's underneath it. And I'll click on the orange button and increase the transparency a bit also. Then I'll click on it and get rid of the shape outline by clicking on no outline. So I'll have something like this. So we're almost done. <coughs> For the next part, I'll go to insert, go to shapes, and I'll pick this pie over here and drag it a very large pie, just like this, which covers everything. Then I will just rotate it like this. Or maybe if you don't want to use this pie, you can use something else. I'm going to go to edge shape and go to chain shape and make it oval. You can just use it oval shape for your convenience. Alright, I have used it oval. Then I'll right click on it and send it to back. 
so they need to back now it I will place it on top of the slide so the middle should be on the top of the slide just like that done now what I need to do is increase the size a bit more holding and control shift I'll increase the size like this until it covers the entire slide then I'll press ctrl D to duplicate it just like that why because I will have to use merge shapes so what I will do is just drag over the lamp and I'll click the light then holding on ctrl shift I'll just drag it inside done then what I will do is just holding on shift I'll click on this and holding on shift I'll click on the light then I'll go to format then merge shapes and I will do combine so as you can see it has created a gap in the middle which we need for the next part I'll just grab the light and put it right over here just like that on top of it then I'll click on the entire circle and make it black just like that then I'll drag over the wallpaper right click on them and send them to back now as you can see the black covers the entire wallpaper you can only see through the light now I'll click on the entire pie and go to shape outline and click on no outline then I'll get rid of these two parts I'll space backspace and backspace I've got rid of these two for the next part the final part I'll drag over the lamp hold it down shift I'll click on the lamp hold it down shift I'll click on the pie so I've got all of this clicked then I'll right click then go to group and group them together and I have something like this so if I rotate it now you can see this is what happens alright so finally I need to animate it before I animate it I'll hold in now shift I'll rotate it 30 degree just like that then I'll go to animations I'll go to format more options and then I'll hit spin and I have an entire spin just like that and I don't need the entire spin what I need to do is go to animation pen and click on this triangle and effect options and I'll need to make it spin 60 degree so I'm gonna minus this and press enter and hit ok and have something like that alright the next step is go to effect options and make it spin counterclockwise done the next step is <laughs> I need it to come back so I'll click auto reverse and hit ok and it has come back alright for the final step I'll go over here again effect options and I'll make it smooth both one second of course and timing repeat until the end of slide and start with previous and if I hit ok I'll have something like this it's swinging nicely and if I open the slideshow I'll have something like this an awesome never gave up plan pose thank you for watching the entire tutorial if you think people could come you make use of this tutorial please do share the tutorial and this page I would like that very much thanks for watching the entire tutorial and you may suggest any tutorial or template design if you want you can reach me through Facebook and YouTube both I will reply to your comment if I have time and of course I always have time for comments thank you for watching the tutorial have a great day and create something awesome today